Hi there, Russell Stratton, President and Leadership Champion with Blue Gem Learning. For the last 25 years, I've worked with organizations to develop leaders so that they can maximize team performance and improve bottom line productivity. One of the questions I get asked at a lot of my workshops is, how do I deal with a bad boss? This seems to be the number one topic that participants have in their mind. How do I deal with a bad boss? So I got, got me thinking about people that I'd work for, companies I'd work with, and some reading that I did on the subject and distilled this down into basically seven types of bad boss that you're likely to encounter during your career. Okay, so the first one we're looking at is the bully, the archetypal boss, the screamer, the person who comes in, throws everything everywhere, demands people do this and that and get it done on time. The second person we have is the social climber. This is the person that's always got one eye on their next promotion, the next job, how well they're seen with the VP, does the CEO know their name, and every move that they take in the workplace is calculated to be able to move them up that career tree, whether or not it has a positive or negative effect on the members of their team. Our third type of bad boss is the micromanager. The person that likes to take the interest in the minute detail of everything that you and your co-workers do. It's as if they're looking over your shoulder 24-7, checking everything that you do, every piece of work that you put out there, and always offering their suggestions. So we come to boss number four. This is the workaholic. So in this time when we're trying to encourage people to get a balance in life between their work life and their home life, this is the person that seems to live in the office. They never leave. Now whilst that may be dedication, the problem is it provides an environment where people feel that they can't take that time off. They perhaps can't leave a little early that day to go and watch their kid's hockey game. Or perhaps they need to go with a partner to a hospital appointment because the boss is always at work and they feel that therefore they need to always be at work at the same time. Our fifth person we're talking about is the number crunching boss. This is the person that spends their time in their office, rarely leaves, crouched over their laptop or computer, typing away furiously, looking at the numbers, checking what does this mean, that mean, but rarely actually spend some time coming out and talking to the people that work for them. You're rarely gonna see this person on the shop floor, but rather they're in there checking the budget line and sending off another flurry of emails. So we come down to our last two. The absent boss. The sort of opposite of some of the others that we've talked about. This is the person that you only know is there because their jacket sits on the back of their chair. Their office is always empty. They're never at their desk. They're never on the shop floor. They're never out there on the job site. At times they say they're at meetings, but in fact, we're not quite sure that they actually exist at all unless the fact that their picture appears in the staff directory. And finally, a divisive boss. This is the person who likes to play power games between one set of employees and another. They like nothing more than setting team against team, not in a collaborative collegiate competition, but in terms of undermining each other actually having people virtually at each other's throats. Not conducive for a productive and effective work environment. So those are the seven types of bad boss. The bully, the social climber, the micromanager, the workaholic, the number cruncher, the absent boss, and the divisive boss. Now just in those explanations, you might be able to identify one or more of those that you've experienced. Perhaps that's your boss at the moment. If it is, tune in next time and we're gonna look at some tips to how you can deal with that individual that's making your life hell. If you like this video, you like the content, feel free to make a comment below or share with your colleagues and I'll see you next time.